Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited today to do a review and what's in my bag on my two VBU items. I might have alluded to them a couple of videos ago. I found the VBU satchel and the VBU tote, both gently used on eBay and Poshmark respectively. And at the time I hadn't gotten them in the mail. And they actually have been sitting at my apartment now for probably close to a week, maybe a little bit less. So I did go back to my apartment um, yesterday to do a couple things and I had these two items sitting there. So I'm really, really excited because I know I've only actually used them for um, a little over a day, but I already love them. And um, of course I do wanna use them a little bit longer, but they're both kind of similar to bags that already exist um, in the signature line that are um, regular styles. So I feel like I can compare them a little bit to those. But I honestly like these better than the styles that I sort of compare them to um, feature wise. So I'm going to start with the VBU satchel. So just to start a little bit, um, I've gotten a couple questions on my previous videos where I talked about the VBU crossbody in Petite Garden on what VBU stands for. First, um, the VBU line came out last spring, spring 2019, and had only the one pattern, Petite Garden, which is this pattern here on the inside. And then it had this, uh, I think it's just called chambray, it might be blue chambray. And I apologize if I'm pronouncing that incorrectly, but those are the only two um, uh, fabrications, if you will, that this line had. And a couple people were asking me what VBU was. So from what I understand, and I actually saw this on one of Vera Bradley's official Instagram posts um, from last year, because I went kind of back in time and looked at a couple of their Instagram posts with the VBU line from last year. And a couple of customer service representatives answered that question, what is VBU? And they answered that VBU is Vera Bradley U, Y-O-U. Um, I'm not really sure like what it stands for, um, but that's just what I saw. And then I also saw um, another comment on another video that said VBU is a collegiate line. So, I, I, I mean, I don't know for sure. All I know is that it is, you know, that's what I saw on the official Instagram, Vera Bradley Instagram um, picture with the VBU items in show. And then I, I do remember seeing another marketing piece on their website that said VBU is just Vera Bradley Y-O-U-U. -U. Um, so, I don't know if that adequately answers your question, but those are just kind of a couple different things that I've seen. So um, it's, in other words, it's just a special limited edition line. And, and Vera Bradley does these limited edition patterns and styles every once in a while that typically just last a season and then they're on sale and then they sell out and they typically don't come back again. Um, and I don't know if that's just like because it's a test run or if it's just, you know, sometimes there's special collaborations that they do with different brands, like the Harry Potter one is coming out next week. And I'm so pumped, dude. I'm so pumped for that. Um, so this isn't like the VBU line, I don't think is a collaboration with another brand or, or anything like that. It's just a special line that Vera Bradley came out with for a very short time that had maybe, I don't know, six or eight different products in that line. You can find a few of the VBU items in Vera Bradley's online outlet sales. I think recently they did have the tote. I'm hoping that there's gonna be another sale today. Um, it, it seems like it's just about that time and Saturdays are typically days that they launch the online outlet sales. So stay tuned for that. If you do like the VBU line and you're looking for a couple of items, they could pop up in that sale. Not 100% um, sure on that, but it doesn't hurt to check. Or if you're just interested in Vera Bradley sales in general, um, I definitely recommend uh, keeping an eye out for the sale. So that's what I'm going to do because I think the last time or the last online outlet sale, they had the VBU uh, wallet, which basically looks like um, the all-in-one crossbody. 
So I'm gonna keep an eye out for that because last time it, I had it in my cart and then I decided not to get it. And now I'm completely obsessed with this line that I might consider getting it if the price is right. So anyway, that's just a little bit of background on this special line by Vera Bradley. So this is the VBU satchel. I found this for $20 free shipping on eBay. And I had it on my watch list for probably a week before I decided to get it because I did some research to see if the satchel came with Petite Garden on the outside and the Blue Chambray on the inside. The Petite Garden is just beautiful. It's gorgeous. I mean, let me show you another snapshot and we'll look at it more closely with the tote since that is lined with this on the outside. But I was really looking for this satchel with this on the outside. Um, and I think I discovered that they did not make the satchel with Petite Garden on the outside. So um, I really like the shape of the bag. I like the structure. I like the handles just by looking at it on that listing on eBay and decided for the price, even though it's gently used and she took lots of pictures and she provided a lot of details in her description, I thought that's still a really great price for this bag. I'm going to try it. And I'm so happy that I, I did get this bag because I love it. And um, the bag that I kind of compare this to is the 100 handbag, if you're familiar with that one. Um, so the 100 handbag does have the two um, shorter straps that kind of fall to its side. Um, they are kind of different. I mean, they're not exactly the same, but the, the kind of the premise, the, the structure of the bag, both bags are very similar. Um, you know, you have a removable crossbody strap, you have that same setup with the 100. Um, the 100 also has a slip pocket designated for your phone on the front. This one does too. The 100 handbag, the, I'm talking about the, the modern one because there are older iterations of the 100. Um, so the, the, the modern one does have the two extra outside zipper pockets and then it does have the main one. This one's just got the main one and there are no additional slip or zip pockets on the outside. But um, just by the, the basically the structure of it, they're both very similar bags. My one hang up with the, um, the signature current 100 handbag, and I think this is a lot of hang ups for people that might have tried the 100, is that if you don't have enough stuff in it, it does tend to collapse. I do have a 100 handbag in Bramble, which I love. I use that a lot. And sometimes when I'm not carrying that much, it does collapse and I've kind of just trained myself not to be bothered by that because that's just the nature of the bag. It's gonna that's the way it's constructed. If you don't have a ton in it, it's gonna collapse on itself. So um, I do have a 100 handbag video and um, I have a couple of them actually. So I will link those down below in case you're interested in seeing what that looks like. Cause unfortunately I didn't bring my 100 handbag. I'm kind of on the road a lot right now. So I can only carry so much with me, but um, I will put that review down below. But that's just kind of how that is. It, it does collapse on itself. I think whatever's in the 100 structurally, it's when they ship it or, you know, when it's folded in storage, it's really hard to get that shape the way it, it, it looks online. It looks very boxy, it looks full. And when you get it in person, whether you get it from the mail or a signature store or what have you, it does kind of collapse on itself if it's not completely full. You don't have that problem with this one. This VBU satchel is very slouchy. I think it is a little bit taller than um, the 100 handbag. The 100 handbag is a little bit shorter in size. Um, this one might be bigger in general, just, you know, width and height and everything, but still kind of the same structure again, the same strap structure and everything. This one, as you can see, does slouch down. But what I really, really like about this bag is that you don't have to fill it up completely for it to look like it's supposed to, if that makes any sense. So with the 100 handbag, you can carry a little bit of stuff and it starts to kind of collapse on itself and it doesn't quite look right because it's supposed to have that boxy shape to it. Whereas this one, it's just more, it's just structured in a way because especially because of the fabric it's not quilted on the outside except down here at the bottom that it just has when you're not using the, the crossbody shoulder strap it just kind of pulls down in this really nice way it just looks like it's supposed to be kind of slouchy 
And I like that about it. It just looks like it's supposed to be like this. So that I think that's why when I loaded my stuff into it, I was like, this is gonna be a winner for me. Um, because it's size wise, it's right in between, I would say the 100 handbag and the small Vera tote. I did see someone post probably a while ago in Vera Bradley Buzz, this VBU satchel in comparison to a small Vera tote and they're actually not that far off in size. And everything that I had in my small Vera, I got into here with ease. I didn't have to leave anything out. I fit everything in here perfectly. Um, obviously the po pocket structure is a lot different in this than in the small Vera tote. In the small Vera, you've got the six slip pockets all the way around. There are no interior zip. And then you have a lot more outside pockets on that. With this one, you just got the one um, outside pocket and then you've got two slips on the back wall and then on the front wall you do have a very large zipper pocket so i found myself um wanting to have like a, a small cosmetic in here just for my masks that way i could use the back zipper pocket for all of my little stuff that you know typically you've seen in videos i've kept either in a small crossbody in the small vera tote or i, I put in a cosmetic so I just wanted to give a little bit of background on that in case you have a 100 handbag and you've not seen this before in person and you're wondering kind of what to compare it to. I would say it's very similar to the 100 except structurally it's, it's a lot more um, slouchy and comfortable. I did wear this crossbody a few times yesterday. Um, let's see, I think I went to a sub place for lunch just to pick up my lunch and when I was loading up my car with my travel items, I threw this on crossbody completely full and I had to kind of haul stuff back and forth to um, my car. So I had this on for probably a combined total of 30 minutes with using it crossbody. And it was very, very comfortable. And I do attribute that to the wider strap here. So it is like a nice sturdy canvas material and you do have the uh, quick release clip on there with the, um, the D-ring on both sides. So if you do wanna take this off and throw it inside of the bag or put it in storage while you use the shorter handles, you can. Um, these are a little bit short to wear over your shoulder, but you can if that's what you wanna do. Um, if, if that's, uh, I do find that a little bit difficult because I typically go like this to put bags on my shoulder. So you kind of have to wriggle it up there and that's, you know, not going to be the most comfortable for everyone because it's going to sit really high up in your armpit like it does on me. So I think these straps are a little bit better for the crook of the arm type wear or you can carry it like this. And I have come to love bags like this. I think if you would have asked me maybe two years ago, if I like bags with these handles on it and the crossbody strap, I might've said no, but I think that's just kind of the trend the past few years, maybe, I don't know. And I've become very accustomed to bags that have these um, shorter handles and the long crossbody strap. Another example is the Mini Glenna. The Mini Glenna's handles are a little bit longer, but it also has the crossbody strap if you say, wanna use that more. So I really like the handles on here. They are also that canvas material, but they're very soft. And you can see how they're flat here, but they do fold over like so. And you can also see it's piped with the petite garden pattern that you saw on the inside a little bit ago. I also want to make note that when you're carrying this crossbody or shoulder bag, these are very comfortable and lay flat. They're not they're not like a nuisance. They don't feel uncomfortable when you're wearing it crossbody. And these are, you know, one side is gonna be on your body, right? So these are very, very comfortable, I have found. So don't, if you're looking at this bag, say whether it appears in the online outlet sale or maybe on a third party site, and you're worried about that, I personally wouldn't. I understand because I, I was kind of worried about that too, but they are very, very soft. So, um, and then another thing, like I said, the bottoms are quilted here, which I think adds a really nice, kind of luxurious touch, honestly. And then you could see the Vera Bradley Brown um, faux leather name tag. And then you've got the quilting on the other side. I did hook my hand sanitizer on this D-ring. Um, it does kind of make the bag slouch a little bit more on one side, but that's something that doesn't bother me. 
and I, I usually don't like things hanging on the outside of my bag, but I have found, especially during the pandemic, that having this on the outside, um, instead of having to unzip my bag and dig for it, I, I'm, I'm touching a lot of things to get to my hand sanitizer on the outside, or on the inside, rather. So having it on the outside and then that being the first thing that I touch before I get into my bag, I think is a little more sanitary, at least for the times that we're living in. So that's just some food for thought. And then there is no hard base, but I think I'll have to really feel. There's something like padded in here. And I will say that this material, this chambray material is very durable. It's very cushy. It's not tough or hard, but it does feel a little more durable than the quilted cotton. I don't know if that's just the, because this line is special, I'm not sure, but it does feel just a little bit more durable. So um, with the main zipper here, we do have that metal looking, but not metal, <laughs> soft zipper that is really easy to maneuver back and forth. And again, we've got those uh, pleather zipper pull and then here is everything that I have on the inside. Let me kind of tuck that zipper pocket back so you can see kind of a snapshot of everything that I've got. So we do have the two slip pockets back there. I've got my sunglasses and pen in one. And then the other one, I do have my car keys down in there. And then in the zipper pocket back here, which is a really nice size zipper pocket, by the way, um, you do have the Vera Bradley name tag on there. And then let me try to open this up. I basically have everything in there from my mail key to my hair ties to some band-aids, my hair pick, there's a pack of gum, and then you can see there's a couple feminine products. I've got nail clippers and a nail file down in there. I also threw my little Star Lord keychain in there, which I actually might put on the outside of the bag because I really like this. Um, I also have some Tylenol and things like that in that back zipper pocket. So you know, your, your typical cosmetic stuff. And there's the zipper pocket closed so you can get a good look at the size and you've got a little metal zipper pull um, on that one and so let me give you another snapshot let me take my mask out so you can kind of see a little bit better what i've got inside okay so i did grab my oh what's this called is it petite cosmetic mini cosmetic I don't remember the name of this. I think it's Mini Dome. This is the Mini Dome cosmetic, right? I think so. Um, so it is a lot smaller than the small cosmetic that Vera Bradley makes. And this is in the pattern Mint Flowers. I did get this from uh, one of the previous online outlet sales. And I decided to use this for all of my extra masks. So I do have the one that I'm currently using. I typically just throw it on top of all my stuff. But this one, I've got all my clean, freshly washed masks inside and this one I really wanted to talk about I'm super excited about this one so this is a pattern that Vera Bradley was going to release in bag styles I think maybe back in April May but since the pandemic happened I heard a couple different things I don't know what is true but I heard that Vera Bradley is going to wait to launch this pattern in the fall and then I heard that they're pushing it all the way until next year. So I, I don't really know what's going on, but this is the pattern Hummingbird Ditsy. And oh my goodness, it is so, try to get it to focus in. It's so beautiful, you, you guys, it's just gorgeous. So you've got like a, a white background with these purple indigo leaves and you've got these really rich pinks. These pinks are almost like the pinks in um, the pattern Pretty Posies Pink, if you're familiar with that one. And then you've got these really delicately drawn hummingbirds. And I'm really sorry if it's a little bit blurry. Um, I wish it would not focus on my face. Maybe I should block my face so it can focus in but um, I'm sorry that that's a, just a little bit blurry, but there's a hummingbird. I got three different variants of hummingbird here. Let me try to get a little closer because I really want y'all to see this pattern. Okay. Oh, that's a little bit better. I need to block my face. Maybe, maybe that'll help. 
you can see it back here, but I just want you to see it a little closer. Um, yeah, I'm filming on my phone, so this, I think this might be the best that my phone camera can do. But anyway, just look at this. Look how delicately drawn that hummingbird is. This one's feeding from the flower. This one's kind of hanging from the side. And then there is another one up here. And then I've kind of got the same pattern placement on the other side of the mask. If you can see that there. Anyway, it's really beautiful. So when I first got it in, it was too big for my face. So I did wash and dry it. And I think it's because of these that it was still a little bit big on my face. I don't know why, because of the shore thing in Fox Forest ones that I got, once I washed and dried those just one time, they fit and I did not have to knot these. But with this one, I don't know why, but I had to knot them. So that's what I did so I can make sure it fits my face and there are no like little peepholes sticking out. So anyway, let me see if you can see it any better like this. That's a little better. So, hopefully you can get a good look at the pattern. So, I am not sure why it's different with every mask that I get from Vera, but some are way too big. Even after I wash and dry it a couple times, like my Happy Snails one. And then some are, they fit fine after one wash and dry, like the Fox Forest and Shore Thing ones. And then I got this one and I washed it. There's one on my nose. And it was still a little too big, so I did knot this. And it's still comfortable. It's not that it's uncomfortable when it's knotted. I think this material is so soft and stretchy and kind of forgiving. So even though it's sitting behind my ear, I did wear this yesterday probably for, I don't know, maybe 15 minutes. Um, and it was just fine. It didn't hurt. It was very comfortable. So there's that hummingbird. And then there is one sorry i can't really see there's one right there and here's the front facing view there's that one again y'all didn't think you're gonna get this close to my face today did you <laughs> there's that one and doo -doo -doo, there's the other one so i have to say this is probably my favorite mask that i've gotten so far probably a good thing that this pattern isn't available yet because I would want everything in it and I just can't deal especially with Harry Potter coming out that's about to be really freaking expensive so um, I'm really excited with this I just love the color I love everything about it I don't know if this is supposed to be the interior of I think maybe the patterns called hummingbird park because I did see different pictures and it was like yellow and purple flowers and stuff. That was the, the main pattern. So this might be the interior of that hummingbird pattern. But either way, this is freaking gorgeous, y'all. This is gorgeous. Last time I checked, this exact mask was still available on the Vera Bradley website. So if you are interested, I recommend checking it out. Also, I'm just a big hummingbird fan. So this is, this is just, oh, I just love this mask so much. This is the one I'm going to be wearing a lot because I just love it. So, sorry about that long rant, but I thought maybe y'all would want to see that since it's kind of a new pattern that was supposed to come out, but um, hopefully it'll come out soon. So, anyway, that is what is holding my masks. And then here's another snapshot of what I got inside. So, a lot of this stuff y'all have seen before. I don't know why I'm saying y'all so much. Um, I've got the... I say that a lot and I'm just like, in my job I work in communications, so I, I try to like not let my uh, Ohio slash Connecticut accent mix in, but sometimes I'm just like, I don't care. I'm just gonna speak how I speak. Um, my Owl's coin purse, I have my earrings in there. I found this at Walmart the other day. I haven't seen these little spray deodorants in like the travel size before, so I decided to get one of those. It's always good to have deodorant in your purse, especially during summer. I, I feel like I at least need it because I'm, it's always freaking hot. Um, and then I still have my lotion. I really like this one. I probably have refilled this like three times already. 
and it's really nice because I can just take my bigger bottle of lotions and just put it in there. I also have my AirPods. Love this case, the petite pouch. This thing is great. I mean, I can't say enough good things about this. Just have my chargers, my other little tech items in my um, headphones. Also have my tissues, which I need to put a new pack in there. I've got my little um, Catalina Pink die cut notebook. Oh, this is open. Oops, my bad. These are not the antibacterial ones, but they are wet ones, which are great for when you're eating something or you spill something and you have something to kind of wipe up with. I also was able to fit my silverware set inside. And then um, I just love this. I love this thing so much. This is gonna be a really long video because I haven't even gotten to the bag yet. I'm sorry, ahead of time. Um, but this is the Zip ID in the pattern Sea Life. This is now retired on the VR Bradley website and in signature stores for 50% off. Um, I just love this, this placement. I did pick out this placement in person at an occasionally yours store. So I was just head over heels about this pattern. I might keep that out though, because I'm probably gonna switch. Just because I don't wanna use that one too, too much because the background is a lighter color and my zip IDs tend to get pretty beaten up because I use them more than any other Vera Bradley item. So maybe I'll just throw it back inside for now. So that is everything that I have inside the VBU satchel. And you can still see there's a lot of room on top in case you wanna throw like a ball cap in there, if you want to put, I mean, if you didn't have all the stuff I had, you could probably fit like a regular sized reading book inside with some of your other accessories and things like that. You can fit a full size wallet like the turn lock in here very easily, the all-in-one crossbody, absolutely. Um, you could even put a light jacket in here if you like kind of put it at the top. So this, has unlimited capabilities for an everyday bag. I think it's the perfect size, not too big, not too small, very easy and comfortable to wear as a crossbody or just as a carrying satchel like so. So I love this bag. Let's get to the tote now because I'm talking way too much. Um, I really wanna talk about this tote. Okay, so I compared the VBU satchel to the 100 handbag. The VBU tote, very similar to the Vera tote in size, but it does, like the VBU satchel, has different pocket structure than the Vera tote. I really like this bag. I love the Vera tote. The Vera tote is great. I have no complaints about the Vera tote at all um, for what I use it for. This, I think, is amazing and really underrated because a lot of ladies are asking Vera Bradley for a medium Vera tote because you got the large, which is great. You have the small, which is also great. But I feel like there, if there's something in between those two, I 100% agree with everyone. If there's something in between those two, it'll kind of satisfy a lot of us who think sometimes the small Vera tote is a little small. It's more like an everyday purse size. And then the Vera tote is a little large more like a travel work bag. I mean, they're both great and I love them both, but something in the middle would be great too. I think this is a big bag. It definitely is a big bag, but it's slouchy. It's more slouchy than the Vera tote. So I do have a lot in here. And if you watched a, a few videos ago, um, actually quite a few videos ago, probably in my love all tote video, um, I had my my Cloudvine patchwork Vera tote and in that tote I had all of my like extra cosmetic toiletry medicine items in there. Everything that I had in that Cloudvine patchwork tote I was able to fit in here and I didn't think I was going to be able to because this felt just a little bit shorter. Um, it's, it feels wider than the Vera tote but it felt a little bit shorter but that's because it's slouchy so it doesn't quite have the same height as the regular Vera tote because the, of the way it slouches over. Um, so I just wanted to pay attention to that fact because it doesn't feel like it's as cumbersome in size as the Vera tote because of that reason, to me at least. 
And another great thing about this is that you do get the crossbody ad adjustable removable crossbody or shoulder strap, which I have found for me is a lot better than the Veer Tote because when I'm traveling, it's a lot easier to throw this over my shoulder or throw it over crossbody and be hands free. Whereas the Veer Tote, I have to kind of keep adjusting and especially if it's really full, um, mostly just when I'm traveling. So I think this is a lot better when I've got a lot of stuff that I'm already carrying and I have the option to kind of throw this over my shoulder with the one strap or throw it over crossbody. So you can see it's very wide. I have a lot of stuff in here. There's no hard base. Um, and there's the petite garden pattern up close. And you can see there are lovely little snails in there. I really like these straps. They're just like the VBU tote in terms of the canvas material and they fold over. They fit on your shoulder really nice. They're very, very comfortable. Um, for the thumbnail photo, I will probably find a way to put this um, tote, what it looks like on me. Um, that way you can see it because I know I'm in the car so it's gonna be a little hard to see. But you can see it goes right under my shoulder at least. So it fits really nice that way. And then this strap, it does hang a little bit lower, um, which I also like. So the, both of these straps are very, very comfortable to wear. You do have a couple of outside pockets and I'm not really sure what's front and what's back. Cause I don't know that there is a, um, oh, there is a Vera Bradley label. So this must be the front technically, but I don't think it matters, whatever you wanna do. Um, so there is the Vera Bradley name plate down there. And so you do have a zipper pocket. And I think this might go all the way to the bottom. Yeah, so the zipper pocket goes all the way to the bottom of the bag. And in there, I just have my taser. And then in this pocket, it's a slip pocket that goes all the way down to the bottom of the bag. Just a regular slip. And I think in here, I just have all of my um, coupons. And then you've got the nice zipper on the top. And it is just one zipper, goes all the way across. And I just want to show you everything that I have inside. I do have my, um, so this is Skipper. He kind of goes everywhere with me when I'm traveling somewhere. I've had him since, oh, I don't know. I've had him since I was a young child. My uncle got him for me from Goodwill. And as a child, he went on every little adventure with me. So typically when I'm staying somewhere for a long period of time, I do take him with me because he's like my little good luck charm. But let me show you, okay, how much stuff I have in here. And I don't think with my Cloudvine patchwork video that I actually showed you what was, you know, typically carried inside of here. So here I'm going to show you. So I do have a couple of Vera Bradley Zip ID cases. I've been on a purple kick lately, so I do want to switch out my sea life for a couple of days into one of these. So um, this one is lilac. Not lilac tapestry, lilac medallion, I think, lilac medallion. And this one is, y'all, yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> what is that pattern? It's um something meadow, meadow, lilac meadow. Oh my goodness, what is this pattern? That's gonna bother me. I'm gonna put it in the comments. I'm sorry, I'm like losing my mind here. It does have Meadow in it though. My sister's name is Meadow, so. Um, yes, so there we go. So I'm probably gonna switch into this one because I uh, really like the, that pattern placement. I've had this one since it came out last year, I think. Yeah, last year's 2019, right? <laughs> So we do have the beautiful leaf placement and we've got a little ladybug, which this is my favorite part of the pattern probably. So um, I keep wanting to say Charmont Meadow, but that's definitely not the name of this pattern. Um, it might be just Lilac Meadow. No, that, that cannot be it. Um, Erg, that's gonna bother me. I don't know why I forget pattern names like that, but 
anyway it's got the ladybugs inside and I really like the placement on the front too so anyway I have a couple ID cases in there and I also have my pencil case and floral nightingale I've had this for a really long time but instead of using it as a pen case right now I just have some of my tech items in there like my Apple pencil and an extra charger and this I got from Warthog Princess here on YouTube. She sent me a thank you card in the pattern Seahorse, of course, which I really, really like this pattern. So thank you, Warthog Princess, for the super nice thank you card. I love it. It was super kind of you. And she sent me a coupon too, which was unexpected, but very, very appreciated. So thank you so much for that. I also have a bag of Q-tips, a bag of floss picks, I have a lot of Vera stuff in here. I've got another petite pouch, and this is the pattern English Meadow. Uh, what's in here? Oh, I have an extra pair of headphones and a couple of flash drives in that one. This is the um, Every Little Thing case or the Travel Pill case in Midnight Blues. And I think I just have extra like allergy pills and like NyQuil and stuff for, you know, if I ever get sick or something. I also have a little sewing kit, which has come in handy since I've been traveling. I also have um, extra strength Tylenol and I have one a day women's petite vitamins. I have this little lipstick case in Indiana Rose and I think I just put an extra pack of floss picks that I found from the Walmart travel section in there. I have a plastic bag because you never know when you need one of those. Here's my other little deodorant pod. I also have a lint roller in there. I'll just kind of put it back in there. Also have a first aid kit. I have some super glue which has also come in handy lately. This big thing, which I won't empty it out, but it just has extra, actually let me get a pack of tissues out now while I have this for my purse. Just kind of throw it in there. But this has everything from extra tissues to extra travel lotions. You can see all my bath and body hand sanitizers in there. I have um, my ear medication. I have some extra shampoo and conditioner. I've got the little toothpaste or toothbrush caps. Um, extra thing of wet wipes, more sanitizer. So I've kind of been collecting all of that sort of stuff in this plastic bag. I'm just gonna stick back in here. I sometimes like to braid my hair so I have those little um, hair bands, hair rubber bands in there. And then I have another uh, bottle of lotion on deck. This is Almond Blossom. Love that smell. I'll go ahead and put that back in here too. Oh, and then this I have my uh, peppermint oil and my, I think Victoria's Secret travel perfume. I just put those in separate bags in case they leak or something. And then in this bag, you do have two slip pockets on one side. And in one, I just have some off spray. And then this one, I have my probiotics and other vitamins. And then on the other side, you get a really big zipper pocket. And in there, the only thing I have is feminine products. So you probably don't want to see um, what's in there. But this bag fits a lot more than it looks. I mean, it fits a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton of stuff. So I'm going to kind of put everything back inside and show you again what it looks like. All filled. And I would definitely use this bag as like a work bag. I would use this bag as a travel bag, kind of like I'm using it now. I think I could even pull this off as an everyday carry because it slouches so well. So I would definitely like use this. I could put a small crossbody inside of it and then fill it up with like my everyday stuff. I would 110% do that because it's just such a good size. Um, yeah, so I might switch my ID cases. I think I'm going to switch to Lavender Meadow. Lavender Meadow! Oh my god! It just came to me! This is Lavender Meadow, not Lilac Meadow. This is Lilac 
medallion. This is Lavender Meadow, both LM patterns. I don't know why it just like came, to, it just came to me. So this I'm gonna put in my purse because I'm gonna go ahead and switch that out. Um, and I'll put that back in there. That just made me so happy. It just kind of came to me there. But look, you still have lots of extra room on the top. Um, and you also have the sides of the bag where you can kind of fit some extra stuff like down in there. But look how it slouches. So it's got the same like width as a Vera tote, but it slouches, it's shorter. So I don't, do not have a Vera tote with me. I didn't bring it this time on my trip because this, I was so excited to use this bag. Um, and the way the straps are constructed too, um, they kind of stop before you get to the top of the zipper. So that's how it's also able to slouch a lot better. So yes, this is the VBU tote in Petite Garden. And you can find this VBU tote with the chambray on the outside, like my uh, VBU satchel down there. But here's an up close look at that beautiful pattern. I just love this pattern so much. So that has been my sort of long review. It's almost 40, well, yeah, it's over 40 minutes. So I apologize about that. Um, on the VBU tote and the VBU satchel, which is kind of just like a mini version of that tote. So I just love both of these bags. I'm so happy with them. Um, I'm probably, I didn't really bring very many purses to switch out of. I just brought my small Vera tote and seahorse, of course. And then I brought um, those couple of ID cases. I also brought my outlet painted paisley ID case and lanyard in case I need an ID case with a lanyard. And I also brought my little hipster and short thing just as a small crossbody in case I do want to use this as an everyday carry and I could just throw my little crossbody in there or if I want to put it in my small Vera tote and seahorse of course so anyway if you made it all the way through this video I really appreciate it if you're interested in these two bags I hope the reviews kind of helped you I also want to give another shout out to Warhog Princess thank you so much for doing your um um, request the video I requested on the VBU collection. I really appreciate that. Um, it did help me decide how much I wanted these bags, especially the, the VBU tote. Um, so thank you so much for doing those videos and um, thank you all for watching. I hope you have a great weekend and a great day.